Ragnar was always chosen over me. He is everything I cannot do. Everything I cannot be. What do you see? Power. Why would I not want to betray him? Power is always dangerous. It attracts the worst. But I still believe in my heart that he will not betray me. And corrupts the best. Who will bear me, my son? We can have more sons. You insult and humiliate me. I have no choice but to leave you. Sometimes you are God. Sounds a lot like one of ours. I hope that someday our father, our gods, our father can become friends. He's a Christian. I don't know why Ragnar listens to him. All my future lies with Ragnar. You're the only one I can trust. Or have you, in your heart, already renounced our gods and turned to the Christ God? I don't believe in the gods' existence. And they are both ridiculous. Is that what your friend Apostol has persuaded you to do? How can you trust him? You talk about trust. You. You betrayed me. You killed Athos terrible. You betrayed my trust and my love. Tell me if I will conquer Paris. I can see that not the living. But the dead will conquer Paris. And I also see that the bear will be crowned by a princess. Hail Caesar! You are the most dangerous man on this earth. When everyone wanted you dead, I kept you alive! We will never meet again, my friend. And this is how you repay my love! Not my brother. Never have been. I think what happened in Paris finally broke him. It's been a long journey. Why did you come back? I came back. <laughs> because I wanted to see what just become of my sons. Hello, Ivar. Why are you here, Ragnar Lothbrok? Ex-husband? I have dreamed of it many times. Well, next time. And in my dreams, we are always together. Forgive me for all of my faults, all of my failings. People started to talk as if he was a god. He was not a god, he was a man. You thought you were a god, Ragnar. A man with many dreams and many failings. But in the end, you're just a man. I have made many bad choices. Despite the future belongs to those who disagree with all the truth. All his failings, 